Shalom to the elect of Israel. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, <laughs> our Savior, our Big Brother. That day is fast approaching. The second coming of our king is fast approaching as we see the fall of this kingdom. And you are asking, what is the name of our king? His name is Yahweh Shai, our king, the king of kings, the lord of lords, family. These prophecies are jumping off the pages. Family, people are jumping ship. Close allies are saying that enough of America. We are tired of America. We're not going to be a vassal state for America. Family, everything the Lord said is going to be happening before his second coming. It is happening right in front of our eyes. And we have a lot to cover. Lord willing, Yahweh Ratazah, we're going to get right into it. We have about nine articles to go through. Family, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. This is all about our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekwakudash. Let's give double honors to our head apostles, the leaders of the, from the great millstone, the elders, the bishop family. We are coming into someone's labor, okay? And we're hoping that we will build on that same foundation. We thank our Lord. For allowing us to see our prophets, like he said, your eyes shall see your teachers. We saw our teachers on YouTube and family. There was no dispute. It was it. That was when we found rest. Barakata Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakodash. That's what the Lord says. Give your elders double honors. Eh? Because some of these men, family, I know they don't want the light, the spotlight on them. But they've been laboring for many, many years. That's right. And we are extremely grateful that they are still out there teaching, edifying us on a daily basis. Mm? Now let's give salutation, peace to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth, pushing the word, the testimony of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, which is what? The spirit of prophecy. That's what we are occupied with. We are not occupying with prosperity gospel. That you're going to find it in the hallowed houses. They call them churches. That's right. Plantation Christianity. If you're looking for prosperity gospel, how to be rich, that's right. You go there. But here we are counting the downfall. We are chanting the downfall of this system. So our king can come and establish a righteous kingdom. That's what it's all about. A righteous kingdom. That's what we're looking forward to. Again, if I didn't say it, I don't think I did. Uh, peace and eh? shalom to all the elect. Eh? It all starts with the 144,000 and the large multitude. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African-American, Native American, Native Indians. That's right. These are the names that the oppressor put, put on us because he had to put those names on us. If he didn't do it, that means the Lord is a liar. You see, he had to give us the name black. He had to give you African-American, Togolese, Ghanaian, Caribbean, Jamaican, Bayesian. He has to do that because the Lord says you have to be discontinued from what? Your heritage, Jeremiah 17, 4. Because if we still have those names, the Lord is a liar. These are the curses the Lord brought upon us. So our oppressor, Esau, Edom, did exactly what the Lord asked him to do. You see the power that we serve? But now, he, the Lord activated us. And Baruch chapter 2 verse 30 down. It says in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, the same stiff-necked people that will not take, take heed to my word. Don't worry. The time will come when I will activate them. Barakata Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekwakudash. That's why the Lord activated us. That's right. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, guess what? That's right. You are the Israelite. You are the people of the book. And this whole movie that the Lord put together is all about you. And but it starts with our King, the Redeemer of Israel, whose name we always push it. Yahweh Shai comes first before everybody else. 
He is the king. He is the one that's coming to establish us. So it's all about the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the end. This is his second coming. That is why you see in the headline news, family, it is so good. Eh? Oh, family, when we see this division, family, we are rejoicing because why? We are linking it with what? Bible prophecy. Eh? When the Lord says in the book of Revelation 17, that what? The, what? the ten horns, they shall hate the whore. That's right. That is the European Union. Family, they are hating the whore. They said enough of this. Eh? Family, we're going to get into it, but let's give the Lord glory first and foremost. It says Isaiah chapter 62. Family, we can, I'm going to slow it down because we have to like literally, family, read this carefully. Mm? Isaiah 62 verse 6. It says, I have set a watchman upon the walls. A watchman. What does a watchman do? You are watching. You're praying. A watchman's job is to warn the people what is about to take place. Because if you are not doing that, you are not a watchman to warn the people. Who people? The children of Israel. That's what it's all about. The rest of the nation family, they're only going to, they're, they're all going into slavery. But we are looking for the elect, the hopeful elect. This message is for the elect, warning them what is about to take place. That's what the watchman does. Actually, let's look up the word watchman. Mm -hmm. Let's do that quickly here. Mm -hmm. A watchman, Shammah, right? Strong's H, 8104. Shamer. 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 To keep, guard, observe, give heed, to keep, have charge of. That's right, you hear that? Have charge of. The Lord said, I've made you a, a watchman unto what? The house of Israel. Ezekiel chapter 3 also tells you. Ezekiel 3, 17. He said, to keep, have charge of, to keep, guard, keep, watch. And what protect, save life, watch, watchmen, participle. Eh? You see, family, you get the point. Let's continue. It says here, I have set a watchman upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, always people before a place, eh? which shall never hold their peace. They know night. Talking about you, the so-called Negroes, you are Jerusalem. Eh? And our job is to warn you. It says here, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea, that make mention of the Lord. That is the man of the Lord. Constantly calling the Lord. Hey, when we see the news article family, we are making sure that, guess what? The sheep are fed. Mm? That's right. It says, yea, that make mention of the Lord. Keep no silence. Oh no, we are not. Because this is not the time to close the book, family. This is the time to prophesy. The time is coming when Esau is going to finally do his dawn best to remove what? The men of the Lord. He's going to make sure that we're not able to what? speak. We have Canadian Prime Minister, uh, what is his, what's his name again? Uh, uh, Justin Trudeau, about to what? Uh, introduce a bill in Parliament. Eh? The famine of the world is coming. Basically saying that you cannot raise your voice. You can't read the Bible in public. You can't quote the Bible. It's all coming together. But family, they have to do that because the prophecy has to be fulfilled. The Lord said there will be farming of the word. Bracket Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh 144. And the Lord says there will be farming of the word. So if President, if Prime Minister Trudeau doesn't introduce that bill, guess what? That means the Lord is a liar. And we know that our power, Yahweh, is not a man that should lie. You hear that? He says here, and give him no rest. You hear the Lord says what? Give him no rest till what? Till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. It's all about establishing us on this planet here. So we're not going to stop until the Lord does that. And we are giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. We see in these prophecies, we are lifting up the name of our power, our King, the Redeemer of Israel. Letting the entire world know that everything that is happening right now, this is the lost movie. He's the one directing it. So we're telling these leaders around the world that you have no power. You are doing exactly what the Lord is asking you to do. When we saw that, uh, we saw that uh, the bill that Canada, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau about to introduce, we said, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. We bless the Lord. We raise up his name. Because everything he said will come to pass. That's why Yahweh Shai says in the book of Revelation 22 verse 10. He says here, listen to this. It says, and he says unto me, the final message. Listen to this, family. 
And he says unto me, seal not the sayings of this prophecy of this book. Don't keep it quiet. Don't be quiet. The prophecies are jumping off the pages and you, wanna, you are wondering about, oh, family, we are occupied in prophecy. That's what it's all about. Because whatever we lose on this end, family, the kingdom, family, we're going to actually look at our family's faith. We're going to enjoy the kingdom. This is the time to push the word. He says here, seal. And he, said, he says to me, Revelation 22, 10. And he says unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. What time? The second coming of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. That's right. These nations are preparing for war. Oh, yeah, something big is coming. Brakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The southern border, civil war, third world war. Yes, look, family, I know you've heard it many times, but we are not stopping. It is coming. Eh? This is our last. We're praying that this is our last Passover. Hmm? This is it. We're praying. We don't know yet, but our beloved apostle, uh, to her, uh, well, according 2024 to be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And we know that when you are in trouble, you're going to need someone to save you, right? That's when Yahweh Shai and Michael, the archangel, have to step in. It's going to be so bad that it says in the book of Daniel 12:1 that what? Michael and the archangel have to step in with chariots to, to, uh, to deliver the children of Israel. The Yahweh Shai says what? For my elect's sake, I'm going to cut the time short, family. The days are flying. The days are literally on fire right now. Hey, it's already my faith. Let's go on. And he says unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Hear this? And he that is unjust, and let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. But I want to read this in the NLT. Please bear with me. Let's go. Let's pick it up from verse, uh, verse uh, 5. We're going to get the article. Oh, this article, family, is your fire. The all fire. It says here, then he instructed me. Revelation 22 10. I'm reading the NLT, the New Living Translation. Then he instructed me, do not seal up the prophetic words. We know that the churches don't go into the prophetic books. No, they don't go to Jeremiah, Isaiah, Joel. No, 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 family. It's all about the good feel, the, the feel good stories. Yes, that's right. They don't know the prophetic book. But this here was given to the real men. That's right. The 144,000. And we thank the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for showing us mercy and calling us to this glorious gospel to do his work. It is a privilege. It is a privilege to be able to teach this word through the spirit and power of our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Family, it is a privilege that not every man is going to receive this. That's why we don't take it for granted. He says here, then he instructed me, do not seal up the prophetic words in, the, in this book, for the time is near. Let the one who is doing harm continue to do harm. Let the one who is vile continue to be vile. Let the one who is righteous continue to live righteously. Let the one who is holy continue to be holy. Look, I am coming soon. Bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. The Israelite family, it is coming. Now, let's hear this first article. Family, this is the, it says here, this is Victor Orban. He's the prime minister of who? Hungary. He is a NATO member. He's also a European Union member. NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Family, that's right, the military branch. And of the beast system, and so now this man is very he's he's he, I can say he's not he's against what is happening in Russia right now. Hmm? He refused to sanction, he was the only one that refused to sanction Russia, and he's more leaning right, and he wants sovereignty, but because you know he have to walk a fine line, you see. Because the NATO organization, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization family is just a racket. 
and you have to play ball. Or that's why all your country is going to be affected. They, they, are, they can put, uh, uh, they can sanction their own member. So this man here coming out and speaking against the system family is fulfilled. What? Revelation 17. Yahweh Rataza, we're going to get it. Let me, let me, let me, let me have this on. That's why let me, let me hold this right there. It is coming family. But let's read a bit here. Western hegemony is over. Because family, that's how the Lord set it up. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is going to get the glory. European Union state leader, Hungarian PM Viktor Orban also said that countries striving to remain sovereign are facing growing pressure to join various blocs. Family, this article is good, so I'm going to read through it. Eh? The era of Western domination has ended. You hear that? So that means what? The last leg of the Roman Empire. That means America, NATO, EU, the so-called Western civilization. That's what he's saying, family. This is what he said, and they can they see the writing on the wall because they see what Russia is doing to Ukraine. Russia faced the entire NATO. All the uh, what is it called? NATO members send their weapon to what? To uh, sorry, to Ukraine to fight against Russia, the American proxy war. And still, Russia managed to defeat the West. Not only that, all the sanctions that they put on Russia to destroy Russia economy. This is according to International Monetary Fund. They are saying, eh? They are saying that Russia economy will grow between, I think, I think the 2.5 to 3.5 percent this year. Meanwhile, the West family, their economy is declining. What does that tell you? Because this is the lost movie. It doesn't matter how many sanctions they put on Russia, because the Lord is going to make sure that what Russia is prepared. To do the will of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, according to Ezekiel 38, Russia is going to be a guard unto these nations. So Russia got to make sure that, that's right, they are in a position to help this nation take down Babylon the Great. And our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, will get all the glory. Family, let's read on. The era of Western domination has ended and a new world order is emerging. Family, this is an European Union member, NATO member. You hear what he's saying right now? Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has said, he added that Budapest will maintain its own independent path despite increasing pressure to align itself with larger blocs. The alliance is breaking apart. I know, I know, we will get it. We will get to Revelation 17 family, but I want to read a bit here. It says here, the Hungarian prime minister has been a vocal critic of Western policies on the Ukraine conflict, denouncing sanctions on Russia as counterproductive and weapons deliveries to Kiev as dangerous and escalatory. Budapest has also called on both parties to negotiate an end to the hostility to avoid further bloodshed, which Kiev has refused to countenance. It says here, speaking at an annual ambassadorial meeting on Tuesday, Oban said that the general consensus now is that Western, listen to this, the general consensus. Let's look up the word consensus. I know what it is, but family, let's look it up. Look up consensus. What's going on with the dictionary now? Oh my goodness. That's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, family. This computer, man. Let me copy this. Open it up. It says here, a general agreement, harmony, concord, like-mindedness, concurrence, consent. This is what he's saying. Eh? This is what he's saying. 
Let's go back there. Hmm? Where was it? Where was it? it says the general consensus. They are all in agreement now is that Western hegemony, the fact that they were the, one, the only one ruling the world, they can go wherever around the world and destroy nations and nobody hold them accountable. He says, has what? It's over. According to the news agency MTI, he urged Hungarian diplomats to constantly monitor and analyze evolving trends as a new world order take place. Because why? Russia, China, Iran, Libya, all these nations are now coming together. They are walking away from the West. That's right. India. So this is what he's telling his members. Keep eye on these things. Because Russia had made it clear. There's no going back. They are going to take over the world. But they don't know that they are, the Lord is just using them to take down Babylon, the great, the West, and Yahweh Shai is coming to finish Russia and its allies. That's what is in store waiting for them. After Esau, self-proclaimed white men, eh? these nations, yes, the ones you look at, find, after they go down, nobody's going to rule. There ain't going to be no brick system taking over. It is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. And that means, guess what? He's going to share his kingdom with his what? That's why he's the elect. That means the Israelite. The 12th tribe of Jacob. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That is why we are excited. Our nightmare is almost over. It says here, speaking at the annual, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, he said he urged Hungarian diplomats, I just read that. It says, Orban said that his country, while being part of the European Union and NATO, will continue to pursue sovereign policy, meaning, mm -mm, I think this ship is sinking, okay? I better start aligning myself with the winning team. Family, nobody wants a loser. Nobody wants a loser, okay? They can see the writing on the wall. America is getting weaker by the day. And they know it. They can see, they smell the blood. Eh? It's like the shark just walking. The, the, the shark is following. You know, it's swimming, swimming. You can smell the blood. You know, there's a wounded animal somewhere. Somewhere very close. So he's just looking. He's smelling. He's following the blood. That's right, family. That's how this nation, that's what America looks like. America is wounded. That's right. We, could, we have more articles to get into. But let's read on. Urban said that his country, while being part of the European Union and NATO, will continue to pursue sovereign policies. He explained that rigid pol geopolitical groupings eh, leave too little room for maneuver for nations such as Hungary. Eh? Orban on Monday described the Ukraine conflict as a proxy war, claiming that everyone understands this and that the West has no chance. Listen to this. The West, meaning America and its ally NATO, has no chance of winning it. To support his accession, he cited Ukraine heavy dependence on foreign defense aid. Family, this is like music to our ears because we are always ready to give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Victory for the Lamb. Hmm? Eventually, when the Lord shows up, guess what? All these nations, they're going to put their differences aside and fight the king. Yahweh Shai, and we know what happens. Nothing's going, nothing was to be perceived but smoke and dust. Revelation chapter 7, sorry, Revelation 12, 7 tells us, eh? and then uh, Isaiah, no, not Isaiah, uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 13. But let's read on here. I don't want to go. It says here, and the ten horns, where thou sowest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom. That is what? The European Union. Eh? As yet, they receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Because, yeah, America allowed them to get away with certain things. But it's America. They gave what? Their sovereignty to what? The beast system. The beast system. They are political. They are military. They are finances. Finance, well, uh, the British. But what? Their finances come from the British. And then you have what? Military branch of America. Religion come from Rome. It's all part of the beast system, family. The Western... Uh, what is it called? The Roman Empire came back through the Renaissance, through the British, sorry, through the, the, the Spanish and then the French, uh, the French and then the British. Out of the British came America. That's right, that little season. We are in that little season, Revelation 20 right now. You see? So let's continue here. It says here, 
And, and the ten horns which thou sowest are ten kings which have already read that. He said, these have one mind. You hear that? These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. They don't make any decision. America is the one that speaks on their behalf. They, when they come to consensus, America goes, okay, uh, you know what? I don't like it, mm, but we can add this. All right, all right. We all go, we go along. But America makes the ultimate decision. They all have one mind. They give the power to the system. That's why that continues to keep them in power. That gave them what? That unipolar. That's why one power. Why they were able to rule over everybody. At one point, Russia was weak. So Russia kept quiet. China was weak. China kept quiet. But now all these nations now have built their arsenal. Now they're ready to take down, that's right, the system, which is what? The beast system. And it says here, these shall make war with the lamb eventually when the Lord comes. Mm? The lamb is who? Yahweh Shai. When he comes with the chariots, the angels. Family, these demons know that. That's why they have what, what they call space force. The sixth branch of Americans are military. Space Force, hey, a family, they don't know. They see the chariot. They're going to fight the king of kings. He said, these shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is lord of lords. You hear that? That's the king of kings. Our king, our shy. The king of kings, and they, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. We pray we are among the numbers. Eh? The angels, the elect family, we pray. Eh? You see? And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. He huh? says here, and he says unto me, the waters which thou sowest, where the whore sitteth. You hear that? The Lord compare America to what? The whore. Because America is the voice. Eh? He is the, the big honcho. He eh? says, where the word, let's go. And this, he says unto me, the waters which does, you saw, where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. You hear that? The water represents what? The people. Hmm? That's America. Different tongue, different nations, all living in America, Babylon the Great. And it says here, and the ten horns, which is European Union, which thou sowest upon the beast, the one riding, giving they gave their power to America. And, and these shall hate the whole. You hear that? These shall hate the whole. You see. They, the European Union, they will do, will do what? They will hate the prostitute, the whore. The Lord calls her prostitute because what? She's in bed with everybody. Eh? As long as the money is good, like I always say this, prostitute doesn't matter how clean or dirty or filthy you are. No, as long as you're willing to pay, you know, dine and take her to dinner, you know, buy her some nice stuff, you know what? I mean? You're good to go. It's all about the money. That's their God. You see, that's what the Lord compared America to. America is all about the money. Whoever willing, willing to do business eh, with America, eh, it doesn't matter how corrupt you are, it's all about the money. If you want to destroy your nations but make money, America is your friend. You see, America is your friend. He says here, And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate, and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. That's what they're going to do. Eventually, all these nations, they're going to join. I don't know how it's going to play out, but guess what? Russia is waiting. These nations are all going to join together and take down Babylon the Great, America. The missiles are coming. Hmm? The missiles are coming. And it says here, and shall hate, it says what? And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Can we read another? Let's read at the NLT. Eh? It says here, the scarlet beast and his ten horns all hate the prostitute. <laughs> they will strip her naked, eat her flesh, and burn her remains with fire. That is what is coming. And this is what is waiting. I mean, this is a future prophecy. And that time is fast approaching. But excuse me. That's fast approaching. And we say, Barakate Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says here, for, here, here this, here's the point. For the most I have put it in their heart. To fulfill his will. You hear that? A man's going is of the Lord. The Lord controlled the king's heart, right? Which is the mind. And he says here, fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. Until the words of our power shall be fulfilled. So the Lord put it in their mind to give sovereignty and sign everything off to what? The system, which is the beast system. And the Roman Empire. 
coming back, eh? rebirth, it's called renaissance. Eh? And that's what is controlling the world today. America and its allies, the elite, they are the one controlling the world today through the same system. Rome fell, but Rome came back. Eh? And now Yahweh is coming to visit them. You read the book of 2 uh, Ezra 11, I think 35 down, that's right. It tells you the lion eh? rebuke the eagle. That's why, which is what? Their system. They love the eagle. That eagle, that bird family, that's how proud these people are. He says here, and the woman, listen to this, and the woman mm, which thou sowest is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Who's that great city? Babylon, America. America is the one ruling over the great city. So family, that is Bible prophecy right there. This Western hegemony is over. That's right. <coughs> this way it's all leading to. Eventually, they are going to turn on what? Their allies. Family, it's all about money to these people. The alliances, no. It's, alliances are only temporary. Not, 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 these people here, family, they will sell their own daughter to make money. You see? So the time has come and America family use, uh, usefulness is over. They're going to throw America under the bus. That's what is coming. Hmm? Let's get the next article. Who? I only got one article through. Yes. And this, this, this witch here. That's, that's Newland. Victoria Newland. Family, we've been following this woman for a long time now. But yeah, this is a high-ranking member of what? Of uh, the United States. Uh, what is it called? Uh, what is the word? Uh... It's the State Department, State Department, okay? She got recently, she was promoted to deputy. And deputy of, actually, what is it? What's the title? Oh, it said right there. You were uh, deputy secretary of state. That's right. High-ranking member. Been in politics for almost 30 years. Served about six different presidents. That's right. She is a war hawk family. She, is, she orchestrated this whole Ukraine war since 2014. Wanted to what? Destabilize Russia. Divide Russia among uh, they are among American allies because Russia is big. Russia is full of all type of resources. Russia, well, Putin said it recently, over, family, they have over $83 trillion. $83 trillion that they haven't, uh, of resources that they haven't tapped into yet. Russia is so, Russia has 70, no, 11 different time zones. That's how big Russia is. So this witch here, and you look at her, you know she's a witch. And She's been trying to destroy Russia. But from this is all Bible, but this is all Bible prophecy because the Lord says a house divided can never stand. Eh? Their kingdom is falling. But today, this same woman that went to uh, Kiev few the few weeks ago saying that, oh, he gets more surprises for Russia. He's gonna destroy Putin. They wanted to remove Putin. But he all, all of a sudden today he resigned. Why did he quit? Does he know something is coming? They all know. Because nuclear war is coming. Everybody is family preparing their bunkers. Let's read on. The deputy secretary will leave the U.S. State Department in several weeks. Anthony Blinken has announced. The U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, Victoria Newland, is poised to leave her post in the coming weeks. Secretary of State Antonio Blinken has announced the senior official widely regarded as a foreign policy hawk played a key role in the Western Bar coup in Ukraine in 2014. In December 2013, she visited Kiev with, uh, with the late Senator John McCain to hand out patriots. I don't even that. I don't care about that. But here. Yeah, let's read on here. He said her most recent trip to Kiev involved intervening with President Vladimir Zelensky on behalf of General Valerini, Valery Zelensky, who, who was the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the general leading the Ukrainian army. He says, though to no avail, Zelensky, Zelensky was subsequently fired. In a CNN interview at the end of February, Newland admitted the defeat of U.S. efforts towards Moscow, acknowledging that the target of her policy is not the Russia that, frankly, we wanted. That's right. They wanted to remove Russia, put a, a puppet government in place. That's what they've been doing all over the world. Family, you are literally seeing the fall, the end of America. These are high-ranking members. All of a sudden, they are resigning. 
I thought he was going to, he says he's going to wait until what? Until Ukraine defeat Russia. That's right. Now he is, she is resigning. What does that tell you? The kingdom is falling apart. And third world war is coming. Oh yeah, family, this is just, third world war is coming. Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Sakharova attributed Nuland's exit to what? The failure of the anti-Russian cause of the Biden administration. Russiaphobia proposed by Victoria Nuland as the main foreign policy concept of the United States is dragging the Democrats to the bottom like a stone, Zakharova said, posting a photo of Nuland taken at an Orthodox church at, the, at some point. She said that if the U.S. politician wanted to go to monast mon monastery to atone for your sins we can put in a good word just 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 making fun of her family that's the time that we are living in that's the time that we are living in we say brakata yahawa brakata yahawa shy yes he and he's the one that says yes we're going to blow up the north stream pipeline and today that's right what is it called uh the the chief uh, intelligence officer in Russia came out and said it was America and British that blew out the North North North, North Stream pipeline that was supplying cheap gas to what well, to Germany and Europe, and that I think that project was almost like I think more than two three billion dollars, and they blew it because they didn't want Germany to have a cold feet, and they had, because they wanted Germany support. To go and uh, to support Ukraine to go against Russia, but family, that whole project is falling apart. America is done, and we say Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. And let's bring out Ezra, man. Let's bring out a quick precept here. Mm? Uh, let's go to Second Ezra. Let's pick it up from verse. Uh, let's pick up verse fifteen here. Second Ezra 15, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord family. He says here, he says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. We are looking at the last life. Family, captivity is over. The end, look at America. Family, look at all the NBA, Hollywood, all this. Family is all coming to an end. Entertainment tonight, all these shows, it's all coming to an end. The Lord is not going to leave anything standing. Everything associated with this wicked kingdom, the Lord is coming to set it on fire. And he says, here, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. He said, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity. Don't worry about what these people are about to do. They want to remove the prophets of old. The Lord said, listen, man. The Lord said, listen, don't, 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 don't be afraid. What did he say? Somewhere where he says, let me see if I can get it. He says, they shall cast some of you in prison. And don't worry about what they, let me see, let me see. I will come here. I just got to get that. It's been on my mind uh, since they introduced that bit. They shall cast some, cast, let me get my phone. It's better. They shall cast some, you, some of you in prison. They shall. Cast some of you in prison. <sighs> Revelation 2.10. My goodness, I should have known that. Revelation 2.10. Because we know that what? Perse persecution is coming. Revelation 2.10. Let's go here. Revelation 2.10. Hear what the king says. It says here, he that, let's pick it up from verse 7. It says, he that have ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of the power. And unto the angel of the churches in Smyrna write these things, says the first and the last, Yahweh Shai, which was dead and is alive, Yahweh Shai. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. That's what the Lord is seeing. But thou art rich. We are rich in what? In faith. You see, we are rich in faith because it's a gift given to us from the, before the foundation of the earth. Eh? 
And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. We know who they are. But there are some of our members too that say they are, but they are not pushing the name of Yahweh Shai. So they are all synagogue of Satan. If nobody's putting, if you're not pushing the name Yahweh Shai, that's why right. this applies to you. It says, it says here, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But here, here, here's what the Lord is saying. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Because family, when they started persecuting, the Yahweh Shai was persecuted, family. Our king, family, took some serious beating. He was humiliated. He was mocked. That's why the Bible says the servant is not greater than the master. So you have to have that in mind. When they grab you, they put you in We said, listen, we're going to suffer for the Lord. We know what we are walking into. You see, we just pray that the Lord will give us the spirit to endure. You see, that's the mindset that we have to be in. It is coming. It's just a matter of time. They have, our videos are out there. Our faces are out there. But we know what we are involving. You see? But we suffer with Yahweh Shai. We're going to reign with Yahweh Shai. That's what the Bible says. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. They are bringing the law. Justin Trudeau is bringing what? Uh, the C, uh, what is the, I can't remember the number now. Yeah, basically stating that you can be out there uh, reading the Bible, quoting the Bible. Eh? You can't do that anymore. You can't read the Bible loud. This is what he's saying. Because why? This, this word here is destroying their society. The moment the men of the Lord were raised up, because plantation Christianity have been preached for many centuries, and the end didn't come until the Lord raised up his men. Now you see, when the Lord, when we brought out, who is Esau? Who is destroying the world? Now everybody is paying attention now. Everybody is paying attention. For our leaders from the great millstone. Eh? He says here, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So here, back to here. That's why it says here, fear not the imagination against thee. The Lord already promised what is coming. You see, we have faith. Tawada Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Shy for that. He said, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. Because we still have family members that pretend. They pretend that they are. They believe in this word. But that's okay. The Lord knows your heart. And he said, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The word, the sword, famine, death and destruction. This is all the Lord is bringing. You see, the Lord says he's bringing all this. All death. Destruction, sword, famine, family. That's right. This is what the Lord says He's bringing. And that's what we are looking forward to. We are looking forward to that. Why is that? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful ways are fulfilled. No more time, man. That's what the Lord is bringing. That's why you see these people here. People are quitting. They are leaving offices. Because why? The end is near. Hmm? It's the same article. Now, listen to what this man says today. U.S. and U.K. blew up Nord Stream, Russia's top spy. Hmm? Some indirect signs of sabotage were left by the perpetrators. Eh? SVR head Sergei Narashkin has said. So, yeah, family, this is not, this is not, this is, everybody knew that America was behind it. Even Biden said it before. He says, if Russia attacked Ukraine, no stream pipeline will be no more. And yeah, and a few months later, there was no more no stream pipeline. Hey? Eh? So they know. And yeah, Russia is keeping score. Oh, yeah, America is going to be taken. Like the Bible says, it says what well, America will be taken by the meat. Right? Let's go there quickly. Let's bring it out and glorify the Lord. It's all about lifting up the name of our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He gets all the glory. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 13 quickly. I just want to make a quick point here. Isaiah 13. Oh, NLT. All right, we will leave it there. It says, look, I will stir up the needs. That right now, that, that's, that's talking about the Russian. Eh? Against Babylon. They cannot be tempted by silver or bribe with gold. You hear that? They are done with America. 
because they know that America, you can negotiate with America. Because family, when you've been sitting at the top for many, many years, it's hard to be what? Uh, 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 it's, it's hard to be the second guy. No, America wants to continue to hold power. That's the ruling elite. They don't want to lose power. So guess what? They're going to settle it. And Russia is going to take America down. Because this is what the Lord says. The meat is going to be Russia that's going to destroy Babylon the Great. He says here, look, I will stir up the meat against Babylon. They cannot be tempted by silver or bribed with gold. The attacking armies will shoot down the young men with arrows. They will have no mercy or on helpless babies and will show no compassion for children. That's what we tell you. The Lord needs to be feared. Mm? This is what the Lord is saying. No, listen, he doesn't care about babies, pregnant women. No, the Lord has dropped bombs on them. You see, that's why you need to be afraid. The Lord is the Lord have is not a respect of person. You see, but this whole the world is about to witness something that I've never seen before. That event is called it's a cataclysmic event, the biggest event in the history of mankind. The second coming of his son, Yahweh Shai. Eh? He's about to introduce his son to the entire world who's going coming to take over the kingdom. And this word here is destroying Esau's kingdom. And we are not stopping. Oh, no, no, no. We are not stopping until the Lord finally decided, no, okay, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to put, this is the Lord's movie. He's the one that's going to finally take us off the road. What we are doing, family, we are all just robots in this game here. It's the spirit that moves through us to do this lesson. You see, the Lord's controlling everything. Eh? It says here, the attacking armies will shoot down the young men with arrows. They will have no mercy on their helpless babies and will show no compassion for children. Babylon, the, the Babylon, the most glorious of kingdoms, the flower of the Chaldean pride, will be devastated like Sodom and Gomorrah when the Most High destroyed them. Babylon will never be inhabited again. It will remain empty for generation after generation. Nomads will refuse to come there. And shepherds will not bed down their sheep. Meaning what? No, no other nation is going to be coming here trading with America. Because once those fight, when the fire settle, there's going to be a whole bunch of animals coming eh, to the desert. Because America is going to uh, reduce to desert. No bunker is going to... America, nobody's going to live on America. That's what the Lord is saying here. You tell out there saying that you have a bug out place. You have a bunker. You have this and that. No. Look at, take a good look at... Hollywood, all the finest place in America. That's right. Take a good look. Have a, a, a photographic memory because the Lord is about to turn it into rubbles. Eh? That's right. From the east to the west coast, from the north to the south, it's going to be a desert once the fire settles. Eh? It says here, desert animals will move into the ruined city and the houses will be haunted by howling creatures. Owls will live among the ruins and wild goats will go there to dance. And hyenas will howl in its fortresses and jackals will make dance in its luxurious palaces. Babylon, days are numbered. Its time of destruction will soon arrive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Russia is family. It is coming. If the Lord said it, that is a winning number. That's a winning ticket. Don't have any zero doubt. It will come to pass. Like the Bible says, although it tarries. Now, this time it's not going to tarry. Oh, no, no, family, we are living in it. Oh, yeah, we are living in it. Barakata, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh. Now, another family, this is another Revelation 17 moment. Macron refused to back Biden on Russian assets. Why is that? Because they all seen, they all seen the writing on the wall. They know that America is weak. America cannot defend you. America pushed all these nations to go against Russia. And now they are broke. And their citizens are coming after them. So guess what? Eventually, they have to throw the hole under the bus. Family, once, what you realize is once you sleep with these holes, and the hole made everybody sick. You know? The finest hole at one point, everybody was bragging about this hole. Eh? And now they all started catching diseases. And then they all these old men are looking at each other and said, man, man, why do you have this scratch on your face? Where did you get that from? That one says, oh, you have the same scratch? Oh, that one says you have another scratch to you too? Yes, they're realizing that that's right. They got the disease from the same hole. So now they are ready to get rid of the hole. You see? That's what you're looking at. 
Eh? He says here, Macron refused to back Biden on Russia asset seizure. The potential confiscation of funds will violate international law and ultimately weaken Europe. The French president has won because, yes, it will. But Americans don't care because over the years they were able to do it. They will seize nations, family, they'll put sanctions on. Look at Cuba. Eh? All the sanctions that they put on all these poor countries. Because, family, that's what they do. They will take your resources, they will seize your, your funds in the bank. And then a few years later, they say, Oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. They did that to Venezuela. That's what they've been doing over the years. And nobody held them accountable. Because why? They had the power. But now everybody says enough is enough. They are seeing the true color of the whore. They said this man is poison. Esau Edom can't hide anymore. They are farming that the kingdom is divided. Eh? French President Emmanuel Macron has warned against the expropriation of frozen Russian assets, claiming that such a move will infringe upon international law and weaken Europe. The U.S. and U.K. have been pushing for action to seize the holdings and use them to fund the Ukrainian government. From these people, they are nothing but thief. Eh? Taking things that don't belong to them. Let's bring out Micah. The Lord says, go to Micah chapter 2. Eh? Let's go to Micah chapter 2. Eh? Maybe I should go Habakkuk. I could go to Habakkuk. I can go to Micah. But let's go to Micah. Let's do Micah 2 quickly. Eh? What sorrow, what sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night thinking up evil plans? That's what they do. They can never have enough though. They have all the control of the world. Resources. It can, it's not enough for these demons. Eh? The book of Micah chapter 2 verse 1, it says, What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night thinking up evil plans? You rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out. Simply because you have the power to do so. That is why when you have 850 army bases around the world and family, you come to a poor country. Family, they are so afraid. So they just give it. You, they cause you, 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 you have this, you use the CIA, your branch, to uh, de destabilize government. You create coup and you overthrow government and then you set up a, a puppet government. And then from there, you started pillaging, raping resources that's what they've been doing over the years but guess what that time is over and eh? it says here we said because what you are you rise at dawn eh? and hurry to carry them out simply because you have the power to do so here when you want a piece of land you find a way to seize it that's right this is what they are finding a way to seize russian asset because what russia went against ukraine because russia was just saying leave us alone just leave us alone don't encroach on our borders, okay? We don't want no, we just want peace. But no, you wanted to push, 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 because what? You have all the so-called NATO members. You have 32, right now, I think it's here, 32 NATO members. So if Russia is, does, doesn't want to comply, you all can go against Russia. But no, that's not how the Lord wrote the movie. Now everybody knows who the whore is. America, Babylon, the great. If you are living on the soil of America, huh, and you're not part of the elite, you're going to be fuel for the fire. And we have to tell you, that's the men of the Lord, we have to tell you. He said, when you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. When you want someone's house, you take it by fraud and violence. You cheat a man of his property, stealing his family's inheritance. That's what they do. They did it to us. They did it to us. Who, 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 who came and said, oh, listen, man, you guys have been laboring for many, many centuries. You know, you build our kingdom. Let's give you reparation. No, 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 no. Not, not us. Not us, but some people can claim to be us, though. And yes, they can claim to be us. They will give them a whole land, and every year, they, every, all the nations that will, around the world will be supplying them. They are the people of the book. You can criticize them, but meanwhile, they control all the resources in the world. They control International Monetary Fund. They control United Nations. They control the Olympics. They control Hollywood. But you can control. You can criticize them, family. Let that make sense. That's the time that we are living in, but it is all coming to an end. So like you see, that's why right, the West has frozen roughly 300 billion in assets, 300 billion dollars in assets belonging to Russia Central Bank since the start of Ukraine conflict. During a joint press conference with Czech President Peter Pavel in Prague on Tuesday, Macron outlined his support for the European Commission's proposal to tax profit generated from the reinvestment of the funds, suggesting that the move could potentially unlock $3.5 annually to bolster Ukraine defense cap uh, capabilities. 
He emphasized, however, that he, the core assets should remain untouched. These people here, family, they are thieves. Esau, family, they are thieves. And the world is, 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 is putting them on a blast. Let's go to the book of, uh, is it Habakkuk? Um, shameful spewing. Is it Habakkuk? I think it's Habakkuk. There will be shame. It is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 16. Actually, this is good too. He said, look at the proud. Habakkuk chapter 2, 4. He said, look at the proud. This is the NLT. He said, look at the proud. They trust in themselves and their lives are crooked. But the righteous will live by their faithfulness to the Most High. Wealth is treacherous and the arrogant are never at rest. They never satisfy. They open their mouth as wide as the grave. And like death, they are never satisfied. In their greed, they have gathered up many nations and swallowed many people. That's what they do. That's right. That's what they do. Alliances here and there. Family, it is all coming to an end. It's all coming to an end. The fact that he's saying that, don't do it. You see, there's a nation divided. The nation divided. Okay? Reality check. Why the West wrecks dragon itself and the world into a nuclear nightmare? European Union nations are pledging more lethal weapons to Ukraine while refusing to accept Moscow's ins ins insistence that it's harbor no intention to attack NATO into their comfortable war narrative. This could be a serious misjudgment. The Lord is the one controlling the mind of this king. He says he's going to harden them. He's hardening, hardening Pharaoh's heart right now. That's right. Then, family, they know there's no reverse gear. The Lord said there will be third world war. Revelation chapter, uh, Rev Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second war is passed. Behold, the third war cometh quickly. The third war, third destruction is the third world war. And there's no way around it. So, yes, they're going to go at each other to fulfill Bible prophecy. This is all the Lord's movie. Eh? Once you realize this, everything that's happening right now, eh, it is the Lord that's directing it. The fact that they said, no, we don't want peace with Russia. We want that land. The Lord hardens their heart. The same thing the Lord did to Pharaoh. Eh? What did the Lord says to Pharaoh? Let's go there quickly, family. It's all about giving glory to the Lord. I think let's go to Romans 9, uh, 17, I believe. Romans 9, Romans 9, verse 17. He said, he shows mercy. Oh, yeah. He says here, for the scriptures say that the Most High told Pharaoh, I have appointed you for the very purpose of displaying my power in you and spread my fame throughout the earth. And so you see, the Most High chooses to show mercy to some and he chooses to harden the hearts of others so they refuse to listen. Boom! Family, that is fire right there. You see, he hardens some people's heart so he can show his power. He shows mercy to what? The Israelites. That's why he showed us mercy. But he's hardened their heart so they can go and fulfill the will of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Man, I never read it in the NLT. That reads so good. Family, I think we gotta repeat it. It says here, so it is so it's so let's pick it up from verse 16. Romans 9:16, NLT. It says, So it is the power who decides to show mercy. We can neither choose it nor work for it. You hear that? You hear that? For the scripture says that the most high told Pharaoh, I have appointed you for the very purpose of displaying my power in you and to spread my fame throughout the earth. Because after the Lord drowns Pharaoh's army in the Red Sea, guess what? Everybody talked about it. The nations around said, man, you see what the Lord did to the children of Israel? Don't mess with those children. Family, that's why the Lord's name was elevated. So the same thing the Lord is about to do. He's about to allow these nations to go and destroy each other. It's about to set America on fire. And once everybody see America, that's why right, Babylon the Great on fire, it says in the book of Revelation chapter 18, the Lord says it's going to need one hour. He said it three times. He said it in Revelation 10, sorry, Revelation 18, 10, Revelation 18, 17, Revelation 18, 19. That's right. Three times he said it. One hour is going to take him to destroy America. After the nation sees the destruction, guess what, family? They're going to elevate the name of the Lord. That's what the Lord is saying here. So you see, the Most High chooses to show mercy to some and, and what? And he chooses to harden the hearts of what? Others. He hardens the heart of others so they refuse to listen. That's why they are not listening. 
They are not listening to Russia. Putin said, no, I have no intentions of freaking discovering uh, Europe. I have no ambition of colonizing the whole Europe. I just want to be left alone. But they are saying that, oh, Russia is going to attack this. Russia is going to attack this. So they want to attack Russia first because that's what the Lord is doing. That's why we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kodash. Hmm? Well then, you might say, why does the Most High blame people for not responding? Haven't they simply done what he makes them do? Listen to Apostle Paul's response. No, no, don't say that. Who are you, a mere human being, to argue with the Most High? Should the thing that was created say to the one who created it, why have you made me like this? That's why you shut the hell up. Let the Lord do his work. We are just robots here. We don't own our own breath. The Lord put us here. The Father, he chose Israel. That is his pleasure. That's why he, is, he does whatever his heart desires. He chose Esau to be the wicked. And he, that's why he put the spirit in him to destroy the earth, and he's about, he's about to judge him for destroying the world. That's how the Lord operates. And who am I? Family, we just happen to family to, to, to be the chosen. Huh? He just chose uh, Jacob to bless Jacob and curse Esau. He says, Esau have I hated, and Jacob have I loved. Family, that is the Lord. That, that's how he operates. Huh? Now, it's a Macron warns against Western cowardice. It says the French president has argued that European Union backers will have to summon courage to stand up to Russia. That's why the Lord, what did the Lord say here? That's why so they don't listen, so they refuse to listen. He's hardening their heart. Eh? Because the Lord set them up perfectly, set them up perfectly, family. All this so-called let's go against Russia, 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 all the resources that they pump into Ukraine, family, it came to it amount to nothing. They've destroyed their own economy. And now the only thing left is trying to see if they can take a, the, uh, the land of Russia. That's why right. it's a lose-lose for them. They can't they, they can take over Russia. Russia is going to destroy America and its allies. That's why right. NATO is done. European Union is done. They're going to break up. That's the time that we are living in. Because Bible prophecy is going to be fulfilled. You see? You see? But let's see here. How long have I been going now? And family, you think things are getting worse for them. Listen, BRICS to create blockchain-based payment system, Putin aid. That's why American dollar is finished. Everything about America is finished. The measure will be in line with the group plan to cut reliance on Western currencies and financial mechanism. It says the BRICS group of emerging economies plans to create a payment system based on digital technologies. Yuri Oshkov, a senior foreign policy aide to Russia, President Vladimir Putin, has told Tax in an interview published on Tuesday. According to Osh uh, Yushakov, the system will be outside of politics and will not depend on national agendas or the fiat currency. Fiat currencies were American dollar eh, of countries around the globe. We believe that an important goal for the future is to creation within is the creation within the BRICS. The BRICS is what Brazil, uh, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. But now we have other members. Uh, Saudi Arabia is one of them. I think uh, Algeria, uh, uh, UAE, and there are a lot of countries uh, wanted wanted to join uh, the BRICS, eh? just to walk away from the U.S. dollar, and that's going to make American dollar very weak. You see, America is finished, family. You can put a fork in it. It's done. It will be comfortably for any state person and business and will not require significant cost. The presidential aid did not specify the details of the time frame for the development of the new system. Hmm? You see? And now, I think I mentioned this a few lessons ago and I just saw this actually. <laughs> I'm like, wow. You know, I spoke, I spoke about this through the spirit. And now Ghana rakes World Bank and IMF founding over anti-LGBTQ bill. I said this a few days ago. I can't remember which lesson it was. And I said, listen, if uh, they make things so hard for you that if you don't go along, especially some of these countries, in the, the, they consider them third world countries. And how did they become third world countries? Because what? They were colonized, family resources were taken from these countries, and eventually family, that's why right, they become poor. And then when they become poor, you send them to International Monetary Fund. But International Monetary Fund, family, it comes with what? It comes with conditions. 
And here you see Ghana rigs World Bank IMF funding of over anti-LGBTQ bill. Because when they come to the IMF family, they put conditions on you. One of the conditions was what? Well, you have to introduce LGBTQ and eh? mischief by law, right? They, they have to uh, introduce LGBTQ lifestyle in your society, even though if you don't want it. Because family, if you, do, if you want the money, you want to borrow the money, that's what you got to do. That is the devil. Eh? That is the devil. You see, let's go, let's grab, let's grab a precept here. Let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10. What sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws? That's waiting for you, Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white men. Eh? That's what's waiting for you. He said, they deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among the people. They prey on the widows and take advantage of the orphans. This is going against the word, the Lord. It's this type of, they don't wonder. This is not their lifestyle. This is the Western lifestyle. These are the people that consider themselves civilized. This is what they push on other poor countries. You saw Edom. This is, this is their mind. They said nearly $7 billion worth of aid could be jeopardized if the legislation is signed into law. The country's finance ministry has won. And then you say the hell with it. You know, you just have to find a way to live without it. He said, the Lord said, why gain? Why? Why gain the whole world and lose your soul? Gain the world. Yeah. It says here, Matthew. Where was it? What was that? I just... Of oh, Matthew 16, 26. Matthew 16, 26. I said, and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world and lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? That's the NLT. Let's get the King James Version. You see, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What is more important, doing the right thing or doing something that against the, the law just to please the world? You're going to tell your little children, you're going to introduce this bill into their lives, telling them that, yeah, it's okay. We need two mothers, we need two fathers. Eh? A boy can be a girl, a girl can be a boy. Hmm? That's right. This is what is going on. This is Esau. This is Esau's world. When the Lord says the earth was given to the hand of the wicked, he wasn't joking. If Esau was actually a righteous man, this won't be here. Right? It won't. He would not put, he would not place this as a condition for giving you a loan. He would not do it because he's not righteous. The self-proclaimed white man is not righteous. He's not. And the Lord didn't make him righteous. And the Lord is about to judge him. Their kingdom is coming to an end. Beloved, I think I've been going for a bit now. I will leave it there. Eh? The kingdom is falling apart. That's right. And family, yes, we're going to continue to stay prayed up. Our kingdom, Yahweh Rataza, Yahweh Shai's kingdom is coming. We are very, very close. Eh? We are very, very close. Do your best. Do the best that you can in this vessel, man. Okay, the kingdom is coming. We're going to have more than our heart could wish for. The fact that the Lord is going to change us, change our bodies, this vile body. We are going to see our king for the first time. Yahweh Shai, meeting Yahweh Shai for the first time. Going to give you a name, your original name. Eh? Eh. That's what we're looking forward to, man. So, beloved, I hope you were edified. All praises, honor, and glory always to our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son. Our king, our redeemer, our savior. Yeah, how a shy shallow one.